Hey everyone, it's David, and this is a review of the Walnut Tenor Inline by Charlie Hind. The Tenor is one of Mr. Hind's larger ocarinas in his Walnut collection. However, it's about the same length of a transverse alto C ocarina. It's 7 inches, or 17 and a half centimeters long, and 2 and 3 eighth inches, or 6 centimeters wide. It's also 1 and 3 eighth inches, or 3 and a quarter centimeters thick. It's tuned in the key of F and has a range of 1 octave plus 2 for a total of 16 chromatic pitches. The lowest pitch is E4, and it goes all the way up to G5. On the top we have 8 holes, and on the bottom there are 2 thumb holes. Now I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of the fingerings. to mention a few things about this ocarina, starting with the design. One of the first things I noticed about this instrument was how the pieces of it, the top, the center, and the bottom, even, even the mouthpiece, were so seamlessly joined together, which only complements Mr. Hines' craftsmanship. Uh, one of my favorite features of this ocarina is the amount of detail you can see in the walnut grain, which is absolutely beautiful, and it'll be unique to each ocarina. About its durability, it's a wooden ocarina, so it can survive a fall much better than its clay cousins, and I actually experienced this firsthand when I placed it on my lap last week, and it slipped off onto a tile floor, and it received just a minor scuff mark here on the mouthpiece. Um, but because it's a wooden ocarina, Mr. Hine does warn against exposing it to extreme heat or cold because the wood may warp, thus ruining the ocarina. It weighs in at about 3 ounces, which is extremely light, especially when compared to clay ocarinas of the same size. In reference to its playability, if you're familiar with 10 or 12 hole ocarinas, then it won't be much of a stretch because it uses a very similar linear finger pattern. What's also cool about this inline is that you can use the same amount of breath pressure on the low notes to also play the high notes. It may take some getting used to, however, because I found it to be very sensitive and I've had to practice staying within pitch. I think the best qualities that this ocarina has to offer are in the sound. From the lowest note to the highest, it has a rich and warm tone, and it also has a very pleasant lower octave range with a moderate volume, so it may be the perfect ocarina for you if the altos and sopranos are too high-pitched or too loud. Overall, if you're looking for a lower range ocarina with a beautiful warm tone, the Walnut Tenor would be an excellent choice. If you'd like to learn more about this ocarina or other ocarinas from this maker, please visit hindocarina.com. Thanks for watching.